Technology is a driving force reshaping healthcare. At the Vanguard is wireless medical technology and mobile health applications. Bruin Biometrics is a wireless health technology company developing a robust portfolio of applications designed to provide clinicians and patients with actionable data to detect and monitor various medical conditions for evidence-based treatment in any setting. Born out of technology at UCLA's Wireless Health Institute, Bruin Biometrics is bringing to market innovative, intelligent wireless medical devices. Pressure ulcers are areas of skin and tissue damage that occur when the soft tissue is compressed between the bony prominence and the external surface for prolonged periods of time. They typically affect some of our most vulnerable populations, frail elders and persons with limited mobility. The Joint Commission estimates that 2.5 million patients will be affected with pressure ulcers in acute care hospitals each year. Pressure ulcers increase the mortality rate of hospitalized patients by over 7%. 60,000 patients die from pressure ulcer-related complications each year. And they're expensive. The U.S. expenditures for pressure ulcers are estimated at $11 billion a year. The current standard for assessing pressure ulcer damage is doing a visual inspection of the patient's skin to look for skin color changes. But visual assessment is problematic. By the time you see damage on the skin, it's already occurred underneath the surface of the skin. Suspected deep tissue injury are lesions where there's been significant damage underneath the intact skin at the bony tissue interface. They present as a purple maroon discoloration on the skin and rapidly progress to full thickness ulceration. Even experts have difficulty picking up erythema on all persons. Use of a biophysical measure might help with these problems, something that measured damage below the skin surface without taking into account the color of the skin. I've been studying surface electrical capacitance measured with a handheld device in nursing home patients and spinal cord injury patients. I've been looking at the use of this technology as a method to detect early pressure damage before it's visible on the surface of the skin. Professor Barbara Bates Jensen had performed a series of pioneering studies to understand the relationship between subepidermal moisture, or SEM, and the presence of pressure ulcers that she showed is an indicator of the early stages of pressure ulcers. As the level of visible skin damage increases, so does the measure of subepidermal moisture. This is exciting because it gives me hope that we have a method to detect early skin damage before it's visible on the surface of the skin. In fact, in our nursing home studies, we were able to detect 25 to 30 percent of the stage one plus pressure ulcers that developed the next week. As I worked with the subepidermal moisture in the nursing home studies, um, I became concerned about the wide level of variation in the measures. This then led to a concept for a new product that could detect SEM. Working with my colleagues, we've actually invented a device that we believe is more accurate in the measurement. The SEM scanner is that device. The SEM scanner developed as a product at the UCLA Wireless Health Institute. We are in every case guided by the world experts in healthcare delivery, in technology and supportive healthcare. The SEM scanner uses a method to detect the dielectric properties of skin underneath the outer layers. The SEM scanner provides us with direct measurements of subepidermal moisture measured in absolute units. We monitor average value, maximum value. The SEM scanner electrodes are shown here. These electrodes are applied to tissue. The support for these electrodes complies to a bony prominence. This is used at point of care directly with direct data reporting. When we tested the scanner in a healthy subject trial using 30 adult patients and doing a moisture challenge on the skin, the SEM scanner was capable of picking up the changes in the epidermal moisture based on the moisture challenge and in fact was more accurate than other devices. I think this is exciting because again it gives us a chance to look at detecting skin problems before they're visible on the surface of the skin and thus an opportunity to intervene with prevention methods so that patients might not experience pressure ulcers. 
core to this technology is a suite of passive sensors that can be interrogated by handheld devices with key real-time data being sent to clinicians in a safe, secure, and HIPAA-compliant way. With the use of the Bruin Biometrics Enterprise Solution, these data can be stored, analyzed, and tracked to identify, measure, and alert clinicians on important trends and conditions for individual patients. You've just experienced a glimpse into the future of wireless medical devices that will revolutionize the way we detect, monitor, and treat various medical conditions. We invite you to more fully explore the SEM scanner and other cutting-edge devices being developed by the clinicians, scientists, and engineers at UCLA and Bruin Biometrics.